Barry, we begin tonight over at the State House as lawmakers in the final stages now of approving this year's state budget. As News 19's Julie Kaufman reports, the state has more money than ever, but lawmakers are opting for a conservative spending plan. Our State House is bursting with cash. It's the largest state budget South Carolina has ever seen, according to lawmakers. Now they must compromise on how to spend it. We've never seen this type of growth. Leaders from the House and Senate met this week to begin finalizing the state spending plan for this upcoming fiscal year. The two chambers must meet in the middle after passing their own versions of the $14 billion budget. Billion dollars in tax cuts in the budget this year, a billion in saved in reserves, a billion dollars to repair roads. The plans differ on many things, like how to bring tax relief to South Carolinians and how to give raises to teachers. We've got to make sure that state employees get a bonus. We've got to make sure that teachers get raised, I mean, that we raise their pay. Now lawmakers have been told they have more money than originally predicted. So you have an additional uh, almost $1.3 billion more than you had when each of your bodies were working on the budget. Frank Rainwater with the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Office explained the state is growing faster than expected. House Minority Leader Todd Rutherford says the revenue comes from taxes. We didn't shut down like other states did during the pandemic, and so our, our tax revenues continue to come in, our business income taxes continue to come in. Despite the surplus, House Speaker Merle Smith wants to be cautious in case the economy slows. Rutherford agrees. While times are good right now, while we've got a billion three in new money, we need to make sure that if there's a downturn coming because of macroeconomic factors, not because of anything that South Carolina is doing, that we're prepared for that downturn. The committee will return the week of June 6th to continue its work. At the State House, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX. And once that committee finalizes the budget, it will be sent to the governor for his signature and will go into effect on July 1st.